Hello and welcome to another database tutorial. My name is Ken Atigari. Now in this lesson I'm going to show you how you can use the database documenter. Imagine you've got a project where you entry in table names, field names, data type, field size. In essence you're trying to document your database or your table probably because you want to create a database dictionary or some other project documentation it's quite tiring if you have to do this every time go over to the table go to view you click on each one of them you write what you want, field size, so here yeah, you know the uh, data type's number, the field size is double. It's quite difficult doing this. And unfortunately, in Access, you can't actually you can't really copy the data from here and paste in Excel. Although it looks like, I mean, if you highlight just like I have done, and you do your control, your, your you right click, you come over here to copy. You would expect that when you come here, you can paste, control V, but no, it doesn't work. I wonder why. Probably I don't know how to use it. Probably so. If you know how to do that, you could help me out. But what I then do is to go over to database tool and use the database documenter it's a little bit untidy and I'm going to show you why I select the table I want in this case product table click OK mm, what do I do now OK must close table first yes now it's got um, different attributes of this entity, this table. I don't want to print it out. I want to copy to Excel. I'm going to select a workbook I already have open. Let me select. Um, this is forcing me into. Excel 2003, let me check again, sorry. Interesting. It is forcing me into lower versions of Excel, I wonder why. Let's see this one. Okay, let's go on with this. Okay, open the file destination. Mm, no, I'm going to create a new file, delete two. I do that so that uh, I don't have too many. Right, okay, now I've exported the data to Excel. As you can see, it's quite cumbersome here. Really cumbersome. So, what I'm going to do is to close this and export to CSV file where I have more, more control of what's happening. Let's see as a file. Okay. Yes. I'll use Windows default. Okay. Right. Here I have an I have a CSV file. Control A to I highlight everything. Control C to select everything. I go over to my 
workbook. I paste the data here. Okay, so this is the data. It's basically giving you, it's breaking down the properties of almost everything, color, everything there. And now, this is the important bit the columns. Over here it says the name, so the names are here product ID, type, double, size, eight. So you got one, two, three. You got start date, date time, same thing here. Table, um, let's go to the next one. List price, double, eight. Now, you could go about um, cleaning, cleansing this data by uh, deleting stuff like this. Don't need this, or that I don't need it. You might. You could do this, do it for everything, then finally have our values. You know, it's quite a manual process. Probably might not take time, but I mean, if you've got a hundred fields of data, that might be quite hectic. You might say, no, it's not possible. Hundred uh, hundred columns. How come? Uh, I recently did a project where I was actually warehousing survey results and. The survey results had more than a hundred fields, I think almost a hundred plus fields. So it is possible. So in, in in fact that's why I decided to like oh what, how should I document this and picked up this skill. Now we've got this an easy way to then go about this if we've got so much columns and we don't want to have to start cleansing and making maybe making mistakes, yes. We go back to Access Database. Let me close this. I don't need it anymore. I open this table. I'm going to. I'm interested in selecting just the headers. Copy. So you see what I did. I. I basically just let's let's do it again. I put my cursor here, highlighted, then dragged it all the way up. Could, you could start from anything, but what I want here is a header. So I right click. Nope, that's not what I want. Right click, yep. I don't want everything. Oh no, I don't want everything. Control C, okay, let's try this. Go over here. Yeah, I'm not interested in the format. Okay, so now I have this. I've got the column headers. Watch what's going to happen. Control C. Come over here. I'm going to transpose. Yep. So. I'm going to create a VLOOKUP that looks in here and when it sees any of this it picks it or rather it picks the type and then picks the size. Let's be sure what number of columns away the dub the type is. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I just realized that they're all actually in one. Column, so this is going to be a little bit tricky. So, okay, I'm going to come in here instead then, since it's all in one column. I'm going to do this data. I'm going to split the data. Next. I'm going to split based on space. Go on to next. Finish. Right. So this is now split 
the way I want it to be split. So I come over here, equal the look up, oops, the look up. Look at this one. Start from here all the way here. Of course, I'm going to take it down. Don't worry about this. I'm not going to lock it. Then it's going to be the second one. Zero. I'm going to come back to edit the array later on. So I've got that uh, to find out how much data I've got. Could come here. I could take uh, an educated guess, but no, I won't. I'm going to just come here, sorry, to the end and go back up. So we've got like 202, so I'm just going to say 500. E. 500. Oops, did I get that? Nope. E. 500. Okay. So now I can take that all the way down. I'm going to take that. I'm going to uh, do the same thing. Copy. Oops, what have I done? Come over here, equal to, use the third colon, right, so now there we go, we've got our data um, attributes, I'm going to copy this, come back here, so, Oops, I shouldn't have done that. I need to paste them as values. Right, okay. So I know, for example, that for this table, product table, rename, pick, so can control C. Um, the property for the table I call quite easy doing it this way. I remember I spent uh, a week plus document a database all because it of course boring going to data, back, copy one one sentence paste, you know. But when I started using this um, document, what was it called? Let me go back and see. It was quite easy. Pull out your data, dump it in Excel, create your uh, your VBA or whatever codes or formulas, pick out the data you want, and bam. And within one, two days, I had documented what I had I've been trying to spend weeks doing. So I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Please do join me for some other tutorial in the future. Thank you and bye-bye.